Well, if you touch any, I don't know what I touched, but uh, I have the zoom set on the volume, so that shouldn't have done it, but something took me out of camera mode, stopped my recording, and put me into actually another application called QR Scanner thing. And it was saying locked uh, camera position. So, what the heck? Maybe, I guess, uh, trying out several different apps, sometimes they don't interact with each other well. I might have hit the power button, that's the only thing I can imagine. That's the thing about these phones, you get these buttons on the sides, and some, when you turn them and move them, move your fingers, things happen that you don't want to happen. So this is the old, the, the old new phone. Um, got it sitting on my old worn out desk, or keyboard tray. But at least it doesn't reflect the light so badly like my little red stool does. And this is the battery. Oops. I'm actually thinking. I kind of like this level thing. I think it helps you get a better shot. Or at least I thought I did. It's not wanting to go level, so. I don't think you can read all that, but that's okay for right now. This, uh, yeah, I think I will take pictures of this in a minute. But, uh, so you got the phone itself. And I'm using one of these phones. This is my, th I have three of them now. Two for me and one for mom. This is mom's. And this is how it comes. And that's the uh, back cover. It has, uh, some instructions that you can peel off and power supply I've always liked to take pictures of the tags on things and then I can just go into my computer and uh, see what the tags are have, yeah, power supply it has uh, there's a USB cable it's all still wrapped up hasn't been open, unwrapped yet it, uh, I guess very typically now, plugs into there, and that cable also can double. I'm trying to see if there's a better looking spot on my tray, keyboard tray. It can double as a, <coughs> as a standard USB on one end, and the micro USB on the other, which I believe is the C, micro C, if I remember right. But uh, so you can plug it into a computer. I've been doing that a lot with this one that I'm using right now. And uh, you can plug it in here. Here's the, you can you can see where it plug is. Um, even with it not put together yet. And there's your not uh, volume buttons and stuff as uh, as they look before you put it together. Let's see. That white one is the actual on off button. Getting the right light you can see it and that right there you can't really see it but that is the audio. 3.5 millimeter female. It actually shows to be level like that. Huh. But the phone's not level. So what is it that the thing you're I thought it was telling you if the phone was level, but now I'm wondering what it's telling you it's level. Okay, so maybe it's trying to tell you your square to what you're shooting at. Just taking a picture of it. Okay, um, this is the SD card I got for this one I'm using and for mom's phone. I got another one that's big, this is 32 gigabyte. And uh, it's worth the one I have in my phone's great. And it's supposed to be the maximum capacity of these phones but I've been running Linux and for since 2005 and so I know ways to kind of get around those sort of things like basically just uh, oops I'll hit the zoom hitting here's the other car uh, I think if I well I haven't done it yet so I can't say I know for sure but this is 64 megabyte gigabyte uh, that I got it's supposed to be a fast faster to it reads than uh, 
Anyway, I paid uh, eight dollars for those. Well, seven and a quarter for mom's. It went down after I bought mine, and eight dollars even for the. Uh, eight dollars even for mine, seven and a quarter for mom's. This one was fifteen dollars and some change. Oh, and it has um, it has two adapters with it. It has um, if you can see those or not. Let's see, it has a. Uh, Um, USB adapter and a rec standard size SD card adapter. And there's the actual card. It's uh, Nitro is the brand. Had good reviews. We got this one on Amazon. The rest of it came from Walmart. Everything else came from Walmart. And um, so. This thing doesn't look so good. It doesn't focus too well up next to my. Let me see the reflection in a minute. It doesn't focus too well up next uh, with my keyboard behind it, does it? So anyway, this thing. Um, there's what I should be doing if I could hold still. My monitor is actually, you know, kind of turned itself off because I haven't used it in a while on my, for my computer. So that's a good background, isn't it? Um, you can certainly see the reflection of the room. That's how come I held it up there. That's what I was thinking. You can see around the room with it. Like a mirror. Okay, so I'm, go I'm kind of getting silly now. Um... So, I'm going to get this thing charged up, put, put some basic security and stuff on it for mom, and then um, get it ready for, her. and it's, uh, these, these phones, uh, I didn't mention that a while ago, I have on another, other videos, they're, they're right, they're right now, well, they may, I don't know if they're still on right now, but as of yesterday, they were, uh, which would be July 1st, 6, 2016. They were $14.88 uh, at Walmart. They're on the uh, Straight Talk plan. Now, I'm not planning on uh, hooking mine up anytime soon. I'm just using them for pocket computers. I mean, for 15 bucks, cameras and computers, and, and I've already got Devane Linux installed on this one. I haven't played with it yet. I'm going to try Fedora because it's my favorite. Uh, you know, I've been, uh, I've read about uh, Android apps for years, but I never had an Android uh, sys uh, appliance, <laughs> an Android phone or a tablet or anything to play with. So, well, she has an Amazon Fire that my sister gave her, but it's, you have to uh, root it to can't do anything but just what's on the Amazon store. And I already rooted this one, and then, but it didn't stick because the boot, evidently the bootloader is locked, and so I un, uh, it automatically unroots when you reboot it, and it's a lot of trouble, and it just makes you worry about the security, because as far as I can tell, you can't set once you root it, you can't set the root password, which is crazy, you know. I mean, if it's like open root rooted, then with no password, which is what I'm gathering, either that or it's relying on the the password of. Uh, a standard user password for both. I haven't figured that out yet. That it's it's like messing with Windows applications and all this. It's like shareware. They got ads in them, and they don't they don't explain things. And I have to get down and do some serious studying to figure out exactly. I know you know Android's based on the Linux kernel, but it, it it's set up more like Windows. Uh, the whole ecosystem. I mean. The, the file system, I've kind of looked through it a little bit. Oh, now I can see my own myself for a second there. The file system is, um, you know, it looks just like any Linux file system. So, um, look at there. How funny. Half of my face. So, uh, it's like any Linux file system. And, um, so that's good. So, maybe I'll dig into it enough, but I don't. I don't want to spend, you know, weeks on it. I've already spent a week on this business here. And I don't want to spend forever messing with it. I just want to uh, 
have it to where I can use uh, I have a Google Google Voice phone number and I already have it to where I can use that uh, Google Hangouts dialer app I can make phone calls to phones so as long as I have Wi-Fi I can uh, make calls and uh, of course you could use Skype or any of the other things like that and um, that's that's pretty you know that's cool for me right now yeah that straight talk have, uh, from what I've heard you know it's an okay service I haven't uh, talked to anybody that's used it for a few years but it's still around after quite a few years so uh, I believe we're gonna turn turn mom's on to straight talk she can sprint right now and because uh, it's 45 bucks for unlimited so uh, she's paying 50 bucks for 450 minutes and and you gotta wait till seven to call, you know, talk any longer than five minutes and uh, all that junk. And of course, she, her phone's old; it's not a smartphone, and it doesn't do any of this stuff. So, hopefully, this will um, be cool for her and me. And uh, I'm trying to see how much I can unblock myself. So anyway, um, might be better if it was blocked, huh? Okay, um, there it is. That's the curtains. It's a reflex when you sit it down there. Which is kind of odd. It's the curtains. I can't make it. Where's my finger? That way. Um, so, I guess uh, that's enough jabbering on about the phone. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't forget to take pictures of the battery tags. I want to do, I want to have records of each phone, so I'm going to try doing it that way. And, uh, you know, of the tags and all that stuff. See, if you want to know the tag, you don't have to take the uh, battery out. It's actually kind of, it's easy to clip the, the, the back cover on, but it's a little tricky to get it off. It kind of, I really, I have to, I break my fingernails trying to do it. I have to get a little tiny uh, screwdriver or computer out of my computer. A watch, it's really like a watch screwdriver set, tiny screwdrivers. You get one of those to get it, get on the edge there, kind of, and they're together. You have to get a hold of that edge and bend it out. But see, I think you can tell by these holes. Let's see. If I can get it in the light to where it will show up. Yeah, okay, there we go. Those holes, you want to be careful that you don't. Uh, course you want the phone off but even with it off you know there's still some things running evidently uh, so there's still some activity going on it's they do drain the batteries while they're off so there's still power to some uh, components in there and uh, so you don't want to risk shorting anything if it, you know or breaking anything that's where the power Obviously, it's got something running in the background because when, you know, the inst well, I was going to say this instant, that's the power, where the power uh, input goes, the USB, micro USB.